There's 1,200 people on the live. New Year's about to come up. Everybody going to be with some type of family or something for New Year's. New Year's Eve. Everybody. Whether it's you going by somebody, somebody coming by you, it's what we do. I thought about it for Christmas. I said, damn, I told him to do this for Christmas, but maybe I ain't giving him an opportunity. Now I'm giving you instructions. What is family SOPs? Standard operating procedures. That's what family SOPs are. And I got a trademark so y'all can't steal my stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go a little further, right? What standards will each generation inherit? What standards will each generation inherit? And lastly, I gotta, I'm gonna finish it up though, but investment policy and incentives. Gotta create an investment policy. So we not just, so one person not just saying, let's buy this, let's buy that. What are the credentials that have to be met for us to invest in? What are the credentials we need to invest in this property? What are the credentials we need to invest in this company in stocks? What are the credentials we need to invest with this company in options? Create an LLC that you do options under. Create an LLC that you do real estate under. Create an LLC that you do buy and hold, which you get dividends from. Create LLCs for those things. Once they get enough money, you got a CPA on your team, you transfer the LLCs into C Corps, a S Corps, whatever seems theme fit. Philanthropy, you have to have that. Why do you want philanthropy in your family SOPs? Because giving money not only is good for the spirit and soul, but you get great tax breaks for creating that 5013C to give. Those charities are great for tax purposes for your family remember we are running the family like a corporation not just an individual this is why you see people like Warren Buffett and all these billionaires have charities why your family is generating so much money you gotta give money you gotta give money away you need to buy land and start a farm. Why? Because farming and agriculture gets the biggest tax breaks. These are the rules that the wealthy play by. I don't care if you got one acre of land. I don't care if you got one acre. Plant some stuff on it. Give it away. Plant some stuff on it, sell it. It's okay. Agriculture gets the best tax benefits. So we add in philanthropy and agriculture to the business. Why? Best tax benefits. Then real estate. Why? Ta this is how we create the generational wealth, y'all. This is how we get it. It's not just about stocks. It's not just about real estate. It's not just about credit. It's not just about that. It's about coming together, putting that infrastructure in place in the family, y'all. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. I want y'all to take, I left the live on. I want y'all to take notes from that. I want y'all to look at it. Trappers, when I end this live, it's going to go straight to the group. Y'all already know. It's going to go live from the kitchen. next, Not next week, but whenever the next live from the kitchen is, we'll follow up with our four people doing presentations. That's cool. Tonight, I just wanted that. I was glad only one because I wanted to have this conversation. I hope this live... I hope this class was impactful. I hope y'all did a lot of writing. It was just on my heart. 
Everything happened for a reason. Somebody asked me, how do you join a group? Just click the link in my bio, you'll go to Travels Anonymous. I just hope that people always using the word financial freedom, financial literacy, generational wealth. Those three terms get thrown around so much today. But yet people are only teaching one component. I'm not the wealth guy. I mean, I'm not the stock dude no more. Yes, I am a Wall Street child because I love Wall Street. But yo, the goal and the mission just got bigger for me. It's going to demand more of me. It's going to demand more learning from me. It's going to demand more mentoring from me. It's going to demand more out of me because no leader can be great if they stop learning. And I understand that, like, there's so many components to when it comes to changing the dynamics of a family, of a culture, of a class, you can't be one dimensional. So if all I taught you was stocks, I'm one dimensional. So I want y'all to just really truly like take those questions that we talked about, take them, write them down, look at them. Don't try to do them all at once. Implement them one by one. One by one. And I can promise you, I'm doing the same on my end. Like, every kid in my family now, when they born, yo, they got to have a custodial account. I mean, it, it ain't no way around that. They got to have a custodial account. Yo, you open up a custodial account? Cool. Open that thing up for them right now. Why? It's important for them to start getting that money working for them. We're not opening up bank accounts. Just we open up custodial accounts for them. Early. Why? Get that money working for them early. Make being a millionaire the norm. Make being a millionaire the norm. Make your kids say some shit like, yeah, I was a millionaire at 10. Yeah, I was one at 11. Let that be the type of arguments they start having. My Apple stock doing better than your Microsoft stock. So I learned how to trade options at 15. I got my first piece of property at you feel me? You have a baby? Boom. Okay, look. Let's open up a custodial account right now. We At the baby shower, instead, while everybody giving the gifts, everybody also give a $50 envelope. Yo, that go into the custodial account. That go into the custodial account. That go into the custodial account. For Christmas, up until the age five, every whatever gift you get, this also got to go into the custodial account. The parent, that has that ain't for you. It goes into the custodial account. It has to happen. This is how we change them. We don't open up the bank account. The bank will do nothing but leverage that. Every kid, every time a generation has a kid, boom, custodial account open. Baby shower, we giving gifts. They need all that. Here's, here's the minimum of $50. A minimum. I'm not even going to make it big. A minimum of $50. So when everybody come giving their gifts, Here's the gift, and here's my custodial account money. Here's the gift, here's my custodial account money. It's a requirement. It's a requirement. So now we ain't worrying about that baby starting behind an eight ball. That baby, and now what happens is with the family, you can't, the mom or the daddy can't even touch the money. It's for the child until they're 18 or 21. We already put them ahead of the game. What if it was 18 with an M? And have the information on how to use the M. Y'all see how y'all see, you see how this change? This changes. This changes. This changes. They're already ahead of the game. They're already ready. They come out 18, 21, the world is their oyster. The crazy part now is they're 18 or 21 with a million dollars in stocks. Oh, yeah. Be because we've been implementing systems and rule, they already got an assignment inside of the family corporation that they getting. They already got an assignment. Oh, look, you go do this, this, this. You going to work on a farm. Oh, you the girl. Cool, cool, cool. You want to go take accounting? You want to go take 
What you wanna do? Ain't no such you wanna go to college, cool. Ain't no such thing as being a hundred grand, two hundred grand in college debt. We good. We ain't tripping on that. We ain't saying don't go to college. If you wanna go to college, cool. Here. Yeah. Cause I think that's the experience that kids probably should have. It's okay. Here, yeah, you're not you not you're not in debt by a hundred thousand dollars though. You're not in debt at all. Here. Yeah, you good. But you also got a you also got a place because you no matter what you do in life, you still have to contribute to this corporation. I don't care what you do in life. You still got to contribute to this corporation. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. And the reason you got to do it now, because this corporation is the reason why you a million dollars to the good. At 16, 17, 18. You born into it. What if we start having, what if, what if generations are start born into wealth? Nobody got to get out of the mud no more. Nobody got to hustle their ass off no more. It's a well-oiled machine. It's a well-oiled, once the machine is well-oiled, it's a done deal. How does the machine stay well-oiled? Because we got generational documentation. We got principles. We got rules. We got values. We got family declaration. We got a council. We got a board of directors. We got dividends. We got assignments. You feel me? We put them in place. We put it in place. Is it hard? Hell yeah. You know why? Because we starting from nothing. We starting from nothing. We starting from scratch. But here it is now. We got 1,100 people in this live. We got 200 people in the group on a live. That's 1,300 people. We're almost at 1,400 people. You telling me 1,400 people can't start implementing this? At this point, that's not even a race no more. Now we have no choice but to think long term. So now that gets out the comparison. Now you're not comparing you to that person because now you're thinking about like a corporation. You're like, yo, I'm preparing this next generation. We're preparing the next, it's not even, now we're not even looking at the short term components of it. Now we looking at generations. It's possible, y'all. It takes dedication, it takes documentation and implementation to create generational wealth. Yeah. We in a time right now where we can't afford not to. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it like 100% real, y'all. My daughter mama hit me up the other day and she said, so we got my daughter in private school. She said, man, he tripping down here in New Orleans. I think they about to require all these children to have the vaccine. Now, let me say this first and foremost. If you feel like the vaccine is good, that's cool. You do whatever you feel is right for you and your family. I don't judge nobody because you know what you got to do for you and your family. I told my daughter, mama, I said, I don't want my daughter to get that. So, daddy is straight enough to where if we got to homeschool her, it is what it is. We'll get a homeschool teacher. Because I personally don't want She said, okay, I just wanted to make sure. But all I'm saying is, if you create generational wealth, no one can make you do anything you don't want to do because you have systems in place to do whatever you feel like you want to do. That's why I said that. If the day comes where America says they want you to do something, and, if, and now you don't have to debate on, but damn, if I don't do this... I don't got a job if I don't, I got to I have NFL people that hit me up daily like trap, bro. I really don't want to get this vaccine, bro. But I don't even put out the NFL. What should I do? I be like, bro, I, that's your livelihood. Only you know what to do with your life. I can't tell you what to do with your livelihood. I can't. You worked your whole life to play football. I can't tell you what to do. But for trap, 
It don't require a vaccine for me to invest in the stock market. They don't require a vaccine for me to run my farm. Don't require it. They can tell me I can't travel. That's cool. I get in my car. I will drive. But what happens is when you build up and you put things in place, no matter it's a vaccine or not, what if it's a chip tomorrow? Right? What if it's a chip? You got to put a chip in your head. Like whatever it is, whatever it is that they want to make you do that you don't want to do, if you got systems in play where you can take care of yourself, then no one can make you do anything and you ain't got to be scared of losing no job. You love the job. You work the job because you love it. You a nurse. You a doctor. You a lawyer because you love it. But if the day came where they told you it's either do this or stop doing this and you got to do it because you don't know how you're going to make no money, then that's when we give them, them the advantage. If you allow them to feed you, you give them permission to starve you. If you allow them to feed you, you give them permission to starve you. But that man, as far as your boy Wall Street trapping man, I love y'all, right? I hope no, I hope I offended nobody tonight. It was definitely not what I came here to do. I came here just to like give information. I had something heavy on my heart, and I wanted to speak to us. I wanted to speak to everybody. To my trap masters and my trap is anonymous. I hope that you all don't feel offended that I kept this on Instagram live while I was talking to y'all. Y'all know I keep our conversations within us, but tonight I felt like it was on my heart and I wanted to keep it on the Instagram live as well. So please don't hold that against me. You know what I'm saying? It was just one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I don't do it too often, but it was one of them ones I felt like, you know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all don't, I hope nobody don't feel no kind of way about that. Um, again, We'll get back in it next week, y'all. For everybody on my Instagram live, I wasn't, try again, wasn't trying to sell nobody nothing. It was me simply saying, like, I had something that I wanted to talk to my trappers about, but y'all family too. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to join the group Trappers Anonymous, man, y'all can join it. It's $47 a month. We go crazy. But for my trappers, I love y'all. I will see y'all in the morning for opening bell. We're going to do opening bell in the morning, Q&A. We're going to do that in the morning. Don't trip. Um, for everybody, the Options Masterclass, Options Masterclass is tomorrow night, Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. Uh, Neil, what's up, brother? I love you. Um, with that being said, man, I love y'all. Trap Trappers um, and Trap Masters, we're going to get this link in the group. Y'all have had a replay for it. Everybody on Instagram, I love y'all. Good night. Trappers, Trap Masters, I love y'all. Good night, Aaron.